Hello everyone, welcome back to Ocean Block. Uh, we had a bit of a fun time last episode. Finally got some Chaos Shards. There is an extra one in here. So I did get 10 overall. Uh, and I was just looking at what I could do with them. So I'm definitely going to make this reactor core because it looks bloody amazing. Look at it. It just looks cool. Uh, I'll have to figure out how that works. Um, and then I looked into the creative capacitor, which we then need, obviously, to make this creative energy cube, which is how we're going to progress in this pack, basically. We're going to get loads of energy, and then we can set up loads of power pots, mystical agriculture it, and all of that jazz. So uh, we do need to get into mechanism as well, but we'll do that after we've basically set up all of this. And... I, it, it is not lost on me that we do need to make a couple of these ultimate singularities and creative essence. So it's quite a lot to do still. Uh, I killed the, what I think is the biggest boss in the game right now. Other than obviously making all of the stuff that we have to make. That's kind of the biggest boss. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in this episode, I first wanted to start off by talking about some of the comments that I got. Some of the amazing comments. The first one, actually, uh, I, I did get this before I recorded those episodes, actually. I just completely forgot about it. And that is, uh, if I put in chunks, or is it, yeah, chunks, and then uh, unload all, underscore all. Doesn't look like that's the command that it can take. So now if I... Yeah. Oh, maybe. Wait. <gasps> no. What? Is it not? Is it just not showing? <gasps> yes. There we go. Thank you to Bert for that. Amazing, amazing comment by Bert right there. Because that means we can just load all of these. I'm going to load those ones as well. It does mean that all of our stuff is now unchunk loaded. Oh, we need to get our. Uh, what is it? Personal. Yeah, we need to get our Game Boy out, and we need to go through each of these. Oh, he's got a new uh, new hat on. So first, let's do. Ooh, yeah, chunk. So I'm going to go through chunk load all of these, and then I'll be back once I've done all of my compact machines, including the one next to my uh, RF system. I think it's still there. Wait. Oh no, I moved it. Good. Oh, I was in the one that was next to my... Yeah, anyway. I'll do the rest of these, and then we'll be back. And we are back. I um, realised that this one doesn't have anything in it, so I'm just going to chuck it in our system. I did kind of plan... Maybe not this episode, and probably not the next episode. In a few episodes, what I do plan on doing is stop using compact machines... Uh, because it, we do have this limit of the chunks, right, that we can use. I, I, I kind of want to do a 5x5 five five in the overworld, so maybe like a cross like this. And then we can use all of the room, right, because the biggest that you can get in a compact machine is 13x13. 13 13. So uh, if we wanted to... Yeah, if we wanted to do... You know five by five out here that's a lot more room because we can go up and down and it's 16 in a chunk right so yeah that was my my plan at least uh, but in this episode we are going to get into a bit of crafting because we've got the shards we might as well start doing stuff with them so the first thing i want to do is get this reactor core so it needs a large, it needs to take one of these fragments that we've got, these shards. And then two of these. So we can do that. Awaken draconium. Oh wait, oh I should probably... Why have I only got 55? Which one is it? This one? Are you, are you being a pain again? Uh, Yes, because I can't see my cobblestone. Lovely. Uh, I did get a comment as well about uh, if I grab a button. 
Just any old button. Anything that will basically like that does like a um, a block update. And now if I go in here, oh, okay, that didn't like that. What about? And I do something like this. Maybe it needs to be on the controller, actually. That's what I did here. It was on the controller. Yeah, that didn't do it either. Cool. Okay, let's go down. It's not the controller, is it? It's a controller slave. Can I do the same thing? There we go. I'm leaving that there. That button will just come and poke that whenever we come online. Uh, yeah, now we've got access to everything. Well, how much draconium have we got? Oh, a lot of it. Nice. Let's grab all of this. Let's turn it into ingots. 51. We only got 51 out of that whole time. Okay. <laughs> so that doesn't seem like much to me. Right, anyway. Um, next comment is, if we pop back into uh, our new one, this one over here. So if we look at these sluices, can we just click on them? Oh, no, it's not what I want. Yeah, yeah, okay. There we go. So you see where it says 90 FE, so RF. I think they're interchangeable, but 90 FE is per one of these that goes through it so when i had a thing on here that was like you know you are still going okay cool so that's that costs 1360 fe per action it does here so that one gravel just cost a thousand that one gravel cost a thousand it's not per tick so it's not too bad and that does mean that this is transferring 131,072 FE per tick. So that is going to be enough to, if we upgrade basically all of these, maybe not all the way, that'll be enough for now. So, and these have just been chugging along. So if we look at our diamonds, yeah, got a bunch of diamonds now. So all good. I'm looking here, all going up. Probably look in our draw system and we can. Uh... Oh, we've got loads of emeralds and we use the crap out of emeralds because uh, if we <laughs> look at this, we <laughs> fully upgraded storage. Loads of iron now. Quartz is going up nicely. Fluorite isn't going up because we need a new sip for that. That's, that's fine. All of these should be basically empty now. Except for the ones which we haven't set up any automation for. So like the, the cobalt, the, the, where is it? Over here? Yeah. The titanium, the aluminium, the uranium. I haven't set anything up for those. We are going to need to do stuff with uranium, right? Because mechanism, we'll have to get into that. Uh, this should be completely out because we've stopped making debris scrap now. We've got proper scrap. Uh, what's it called? Scrap. Ancient debris. That's it. Oh, cool. So when you type scrap, it comes up with ancient debris. I like that. That's a that's a nice feature of JEI right there. Uh, so we should probably go craft some things, right? Uh, I wanted to do that so we can get some awakened draconium. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's just keep a stack on us because we're going to need quite a bit. And some normal draconium. Let's take that in like that. Uh, is there anything else that we need? Large fragments, cool. One, two, one, two, three, four, and then yeah, 
and it doesn't like that because if we look at this it's chaotic tier uh, of course <laughs> so we do need to upgrade these to be chaotic so let's, let's get one of these out of here and let's have a look at the recipe and then I'll probably go off and do it without you guys uh, dragon egg so we need nine dragon eggs probably got that already without even using our essence Ooh. dragon what five um Ooh, how many of these can wait is it three it is 19 lovely we've got loads of dragon eggs good to see so what was it it was nine of these one two three uh let's bookmark this as well these large thingies and then some diamonds oh so one of the large shards can do two of these or maybe like two and a bit two and a bit of these so if we do two so one two three four and then and a bit four and a bit can we do that because we need 18 of these is that right 18 18 does that make sense uh no we need double that we're using our shards quite quickly now uh And there's a reason why I made nine, because we need to put it in like this. That is all good. So it's four, one dragon egg, and four diamonds. So let's get rid of this for now. One, two, three, four. Dragon egg, one, two, three, four. And then what is it in the middle? Oh, I, I made a mistake, haven't I? Because we need one more. Because <laughs> we need to upgrade one of them. Okay, cool. I'll uh, I'll set that up. I'll get another one of one of these because we have to go through the other crafting bits first. And I'll be back with you guys. And we are back. I did manage to make one of these fusion course so now we can set this recipe back up and there it goes this is our first chaotic one look at all the sparkles chaotic ah. <laughs> and that is a quest I did forget about the quest did we have any others yes we did we had this one ha <laughs> supreme impact that's actually pretty good I think a Supreme Impact was unbreakable if I'm not mistaken. Also, that is an insane reward as well. Always. Oh, why do you always go sideways? <laughs> oh, didn't mean to. Yeah, done. No! <laughs> in there lovely nice right I'm gonna start replacing these and upgrading them and I'll be back once all of these have been replaced and we are back we did manage to get all of these converted took a little bit of time to be fair I think it took the same amount of time to convert all of them to the draconic tier right so yeah bear that in mind um, so we've done those two let's let's actually make this thing now so uh, we can one two three four draconic one two three four i can't remember if it's four it's three okay and we oh. also need some shards so uh these are all in Wait, 
I want those. Let's get rid of that. Put these in single item mode. And one, two, and then three of those. Okay. One, two, one, two, three. Stick one of these in here and craft. It's taking a lot of power by the looks of it. Oh, wait, let's have a look at this. It's like a mini sun. Mini red sun. <laughs> uh, so this is the reactor core. We kind of only need it for this. Uh, unless we do something with... I place it down? Uh, give me one sec, I'm going to figure out what the backup thing is. I don't want this to place down and then everything to explode or something, so be right back. FT, no wait, it's called just backup. No? Okay, let's try. Add min, no. Ah, let's just let's just try it. That is not exactly what I thought it would look like. I thought it'd be massive. <laughs> it's tiny. You have a tiny reactor core. Uh, pick you back up. Nice. <laughs> that was funny. Right. Let's chuck that in our system because we are not going to need it for now. Let's get. I'll have a look at oh my. It takes five of the how many how many do we need for this craft? That is a lot. Okay, we might come back to all of these things then and have a look at the creative essence. We should also need the ultimate singularity for so maybe we should look at this first. Cool, right. Pop those away for now. Unless we want to upgrade our sword. We should upgrade our chest piece. Wait, what's it take to upgrade our chest piece? One of these, which is just some tiny ones. Okay, we can do that. Uh, I don't think I've made one of these yet. Draconic core. Maybe I have, but so let's bookmark it. Uh, so yeah, let's make uh, one of these. Or should we? Now let's come back to that. Okay. So ultimate singularity. Let's start off with just one simple singularity. Oh my god, that's gonna be oh no, not too bad. It's like three thousand diamonds right there. And like a lot of redstone. Uh, okay, let's start off with a few of like oak we could probably do quite easily. Sea pickle is going to be funny. I think you can just grow that in a botany pot, right? Yeah. Or we could... Let's amp our power up. So this whole time I've had the nitro. I made a, a nitro reactor as well. I've had that going this whole time. So now we can make more of these. I want to get at least three. And my plan was to have them. Uh, this is a waste of blood, but meh. My plan was to have them down the back of the ship, because that's where the power stuff is in in the actual Subnautica game. Uh, I think this, though, around this area. We pop it here. Yeah, let's let's do that. Get up against the wall here. Like that. I love how this place is as well. It's like you got all the items in your inventory? Okay, I'll just take them and place them down for you. Dunk. And the plan is so it's gonna be a little bit, bit be a little bit messy. Uh let's go under here. There is like a port right here. I don't know if you can 
push into that port. Might need to be one of these sides or one of these sides, but what we can do is have import it on one side or even on the bottom. Bottom would be preferable, right? And then we have power coming out this side. In fact, we can have, we have a power point right here. One of those plugs. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. But what we can do now is just get a reactor. So it's 36 per. So I made it instantly. Lovely. Stick it down on this side as well. Nice. Does it only take 96 to make one of these? And how many do we have? Oh, that's not it. Um, it was 36. Yeah, it only takes 96. And we had like 800. So we can make a bunch of these. Uh, I'm going to go figure out how many we can make. And I'll be back. We are back. This is how many I could have made. Okay, so we've now got one, two, three, four, five. We've got ten of these going. That's quite a lot. Um, yes, we kind of need to get power, not power, um, items over here, right? I do it on the top. It might be easier, actually. So let's get some cables. There we go. And then exporters. We need 10. We have one already, so should go off and make us 10 of these. Is it going to be messy on the top? In fact, let's do it on the bottom just because I quite like having this. We're going to cover this up at some point, and this will be like our cable area. Oh, a nice thing we can do as well is we can just mine all along here. Oh, if I can get in there. There we go. Oh, that's too far. One, two, three. Okay, let's do it on the other side as well. In fact, yeah, we'll have it come down and then go over. Beautiful. The reason I wanted to get into power, by the way, is so we could get power pots before we get the creative energy cell. Because we are going to need, or probably going to need some power pots for the uh, singularities. Like the sea pickle. I want to get a good power pot for that. Nice. Right. Right, there we go. We've got all of those set up like that. Do we want to just bring... Yeah, let's just bring a cable over. Let's wrap it around here. Done. So those are all now hooked up. And we can export. I, I hope we can export into the bottom here. Well, first thing we need to do is get... Oh, don't do that. Is we need some water. So let's get a bucket. Just one bucket will do us, and then we can get, I'm sure we have a tank somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah let's leave it here. You only need one bucket of water to get these running, by the way, if you were wondering. I see a lot of people, uh, they like set up an export for water and I've never understood that because yeah you only need the one bucket Ooh. oh you already have water nice oh, that's good then let me know if we click on it and it opens up that it already has the water cool these all have water now so pick this back up And 
and actually they all need crafting cards as well. Okay, that's crafting cards. So this is the plan for how I'm gonna uh, get a bunch of power. I did have a question, can you go over your power setup? And I don't think I went over it too much because it's very simple. You just set up a bunch of these reactors. Uh, I've got three in my original cube, I think. So let me just chuck that one in and then I'll go show you. Show what I mean. This cube here. So I've got these three here. Don't really need these. What are these doing? Uh, so yeah, these throttle themselves. Uh, these are at max <laughs> max capacity though. But yeah, this is what we kind of need. And then let's do something like that let's take some of these dry ice coal as well yeah i think that's everything we need right there all you do here is you set all oh, before i set that up i'm gonna quickly get a bunch of plugs I know I had some in my backpack. I put them away a while ago because I didn't want to keep searching for them. So I should only need five of these, if I remember correctly, because yeah, they share one. And I also want a disabled limit. Put on search mode as well. And there we go, we've got those set up. Quite dark down here, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, so pop those back in. Now we can go downstairs and set all of these up. Cool. I should make us a bunch of dry ice as well. I might set some it up to help the dry ice out. And that is, I did plan on doing it in one of my previous episodes but I never got around to it. But that is using Britannia and automating a bit of Britannia. Oh and I remember why now because it requires a silk touch um what do you call it one of those books with silk touch on it and I only had like oh, let's have a look silk oh it'd be under, under enchanted silk touch you only had three I mean, we could do it with three. Yeah, let's do, let's do that. Silk touch, silk touch. Yeah. So it, yeah, it's making these silk touch upgrades. Yeah, there we go. So with these, we can use the destructors and the constructors. Constructor. In fact, we could use two of these for now. And destructor. See, I, I already pre-planned by making 16 of each before I realized I needed these upgrades. So let's go into our production thing. Beautiful. And then we need a blue ice. That's something that blue just craft one. Oh no wait wait we don't want a blue ice we want the one before a blue ice so if you're if you're if you don't know what I'm talking about what I'm talking about is so if you look here we've got the packed ice which goes to blue ice so we want to make the packed ice using the ice that we're getting from our system and then Use the pure daisy to turn it into packed ice. No, the other way. Pure daisy to turn it into blue ice. And then we can use the blue ice for making the dry ice. Yeah. I hope that makes sense. So now we just need a packed ice. So let's get some ice first. Packed ice, nice. 
So put that in there. There shouldn't be any in our system, so it should be fine to not place anything. Uh, let's get a couple of things of cobble. Let's get this in our system now. And we pop these on top. Now for these, we want to do a blacklist or a blacklist of these. And in fact, I'll test that by getting some cobble out. Uh, we have our cable on us, so we can just do something like this. Nice, that's exactly what I wanted to see. So if I do this, it's going to break it. And now we can stick in a silk touch. And now all we need is crafting cards. Crafting cards. So glad we all made this. And then we can put a crafting card in here. Wait, what? Why did that make? Anyway, doesn't matter. It's doing that. And then now what we need is our pure daisy, which I made into a floating. So we don't need anything underneath it. That would just go off and make us some blue ice. And for safety's sake, I might put some glass across here. And maybe here as well. I like using this luminous stuff. One, two, three. Looks looks a bit weird. Let's, let's do something like that. And maybe that. But yeah. Now if I do a time in a bottle on this. It does take quite a while, but did you see that it, it like made the blue ice really quickly? Blue ice, and then this silk touch thing should have picked it up. It's obviously going to be using the blue ice now because it's making loads of. There you go. So it just went into the system, and that is how. In fact, what we can do? Let's pop back out. And we'll remove our, uh, do we need to remove our blue ice? Where is it? It'll be probably in this one over here, our, our original one down here. There we go. So I could remove this because this is a nine packed ice. And we're basically saving tons of ice doing this, doing it this way. I don't know what it would do to the recipe if we don't. Yeah, see that? It's still making loads. Let's just try removing it. It should still make a bunch of blue ice. That is quite slow though, so let, let's just let's leave this in here for now. And that'll go off and make like a bunch of blue ice for us, but yeah, these should be filling up now. And producing tons of power. Oh, I need to turn this on on all of these as well. Because what this does is it just auto throttles for us. Do that and that and that. And it clips with this button here, but that's fine. Done. So now we're not wasting energy. Oh yeah, these are getting hot because they don't have dry ice in them. That one's got loads, that one's got loads. We probably don't have, this one's got 64, so let's take that one out. So you see here, it's got like really low temperature, which is good for the power at least. Although right now it's kind of turned off because it's got loads of energy in it. And we aren't using that much energy. So 
I think now it's time to get into power pots. So how do I make one of these? Yeah, there we go. So any normal hopper botany pot turns into one of these. We can make a basic energy cube. Probably automate that, that recipe actually. And then this one is blaze mesh. Let's make that. This one is blocks of mana diamond. Okay. And that's just draconium, so that's easy enough. Let's make one of the top tier ones because we can, right? The first one, emerald, blaze mesh, mana diamond, and draconium. I'll get the rest of these all made up and then we will be back. I mean, one nice thing about doing all of that is this was chunk loaded and we have four mana pools full of mana right now, which is pretty nice. And that started it up again, fair enough. We might have wasted a bunch of coal doing that, but eh. So I'm going to start the crafting. So I've got this. And then it's, well, in fact, I can put, oh, actually, would have been better like this. I think these are in stack mode, so they are not in stack mode. Excellent. Let's stick all of these in stack mode. And then we can put a stack of each in like that. And then these actually need to be like that. I think that's the first one. What did I do wrong? Oh yeah, of course, we need the energy cube, which past Phil has been very nice to us and done, uh, wait, what's it called? Cube. And he's done, done some of these already. So I can basically craft one of each. And there it is, advanced cube. Whoa. Whoa, we just got a load of quests for those. Only annoying thing is, uh, yeah, if I put it on my inventory, it will have some power in it. Oh, I have a plan. Let's use a hopper, <laughs> just so it doesn't go anywhere near our uh, like action bar. We can do it like this, and it will go in. Lovely. And we can craft this, and I'll do this for the rest of them, and be right back. That took a lot of power, that. So I, I put them all in, like, in order right there. So all I need to do now is this, move this up, hit the button, and then it will get crafting on the next one. These are taking a ton of power to make, though. Ooh. Oh, my. Uh, we are going to start draining. I mean, we should start draining these at some point. Might be limited by these uh, cables, actually. What does it take to make one of these? Same amount of energy as this one. Oh no, more energy, okay. Well, what we can, oh, that's done now, nice. What we can do, let's get rid of that for now. Let's get rid of all of these cables and get a bunch of flux points. It's going off and creating us the flux dust, which is very nice. Nice, so pop that down, there we go, so that's all of them now on there, so all I should need to do is this, move this up, craft. Yeah, they, they went a lot quicker right there. And there is a power pot. Let's have a look at these, see if they're, yeah, we used loads of power, I'd like to see that. And we can put a draw. Actually, let's put just a chest for now. Oh, that's not it. Wasted two million RF right there. Oh well. So now a insanium. Oh, look at the amount of insanium we've got as well now. It's amazing. 
so let's get a just one of these look how quick that is plus makes a whole stack every time that's insane I don't know what power this is pulling though Oh, wow, well, yeah, loads. Can our system handle that? Huh. Maybe. Let's have a look. That one's full, that one's full, that one's full. Full again, full, full, full up. Oh. Yeah, these make an insane amount of power, these things. So I think we should be all right to make maybe a couple of these. But look at that, look, it even makes the, the seed. Oh, actually I have a plan. What are we hurting on? Awakened Draconium? I think it takes a bit longer depending on the seed, so this one here might take a little bit longer. Let's do this in our system. Yeah, look at that. I'm not going to time in a bottle here because it might uh, drain our system quite heavily. But this just gave us a whole stack of these, which is insane. I'm going to leave this. Actually, no, I'm not going to leave this. I'll wait for this to finish its cycle and then let's grab it. I don't know if I can just put an importer on this. If not, I can just put a chest underneath and then import that. Ooh. Ooh, better idea. Uh, no, not that. Interface. Oh wait, actually, this is another thing that Bert has taught me. If you press control click on here, it will go off and create these items. So in this case, it's going to create this machine casing. But if you press control shift click, it just goes off and makes it straight away. So we didn't have that confirmation screen. So if I do that and then let's, let's make another one of these oh, and press just control click. You see it brings up all of these screens. You have to hit start and then hit start and then hit start. So much nicer just pressing shift. So I'm really glad that you told me that, but thanks for that. So stick that on there and then let's have a look at some of the seeds that we've got. Terra Steel was the one that was a pain and I know we need that. So yeah, let's definitely put Terra Steel on in here. That should go straight into our interface here and then be imported. There it is. Nice. Oh, we might need some speed on there. Or we'll stack. Let's get a stack. There you go. Instantly grabs it. Hey. So that is getting us loads of terror steel. Because we do need that for the nugget. Let's get rid of that. Oh. I think power pots may have been so miscellaneous. I mean, we are going to make more of these, but I didn't put the first one in my inventory so it doesn't unlock these. That's a bit of a shame, but I think it's fine. Also, I haven't done any of these. I think next episode, what we're going to focus on is I'm just going to start completing a bunch of these like chapters, as it were. So for storage, we've got this. modular storage. I'm just going to make one of each just to complete the chapter. Digital storage. Oh, we can make these easy now because I've set up all the recipes. Ooh, I wanted to check something actually. So that is uh, this thing here, which is like one of the biggest we can make it start. That's going to happen between episodes, I think. And uh, I think that is going to be it for today. So we did 
use some of our chaos shards that we got upgraded these made a bunch of power and set up a highest tier botany pot power pot thing make us loads of terra steel and just for reference i'll put caps up on there's the singularity right there so yeah we need a lot of nuggets so we need a lot of terra steel we are getting quite a bit Uh, we'll stick Awakened Draconium in there when, when uh, I feel like we've got enough Terra Steel. But we do need like a bunch of Singularities, so just to get into unlimited power. So that's going to take a while. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you for joining me. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.